Yeah, say. Uh, what's the signs that a man's barat has been accepted, that he passed the barat? What are the signs? It's a good question. We are going to see now. It's not the answer is not going to come immediately for so many people too. Huh? For some, because they are so stubborn and arrogant, open signs given to them, they're still not going to see. They're still going to find a lot of excuse for that. Huh? What is your intention now when the Bharat night came? What is your intention? Be sincere. So many people, maybe the intention is, may I this year be better, I earn more money, I get a better job, I get a wife, I get a husband, meaning only the dunya. <laughs> and if that is happening to you, maybe your barad is accepted, maybe it's not. Because the purpose of the night of barad is it to ask Allah for this dunya? No. The purpose of the night of Barah is to ask Allah for Ahirat. To become a better servant. To come closer to Allah. So if your intention, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, open this way for us to make it easy for us to serve you better, you're going to check yourself. You're going to know that time. One day, two days, three days, one week, two weeks, one month. You're going to know, is it easier for me to run in the way of Allah? Not just fasting or making zikr. Huh? That one so many people can do also. Am I fixing myself? Am I running to look at myself closer every day to take more accounting for myself? Am I looking at myself more? Am I finding out more about myself? Am I knowing myself more? Am I checking myself more? Start from there. Don't say, we're not going to enter into so many other things. Barat, oh, uh, Barat came and um, it's accepted because Burak came to me and then I went to paradise and Prophet greeted me, subhanAllah. Went circling around the Kaaba, horses with wings, da da da. All those are games. We're not interested in those games because now it is Hizmat. Hizmat, it is some awliya are saying higher than the ibadat. Because the sahabi kiram, they did not busy themselves with talking about these things. Do we have it here? Give me one hadith or riwayat from Hazrat Abu Bakr talking about this. Burak came to him, he flew to the Miraj, he met Prophet. If Hazrat Abu Bakr is not saying, the others are not saying. But what are they busy themselves with? Remember this second jahiliya. What are they busy themselves with? With the work of Prophet, isn't it? They were doing the struggle, the jihad, both small and the big one. Now there's no permission for the small jihad, armed struggle. There's no permission for that, there's no halifa. But the jihad al-akbar, the jihad against your nafs, the Prophet said is bigger, we can still be busy with. So are you busy with that? Are we being busy with that? Because with the jihad al-akbar, you can come closer to Allah. If you're not, if you're not being busy with that, if you're not being busy with the Jihad al-Akbar, then it should give you an indication whether it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making it easy for you or not. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, if the servant uh, intention for Barat is to come closer to me, lift obstacles in front of him, Make him to come to me easier. That doesn't mean now that you're going to win so much from this dunya too. It doesn't mean that. Because everyone is stuck with this dunya. Their minds are stuck with this dunya. They say, only if this dunya is good to me, then I can follow ahirat. Because they put the dunya first. So many people close to me saying, Allah putting dunya first, so we have to concentrate on dunya first. Dunya according to who? Dunya according to Ahli Jannat, like the prophets and the sahabis and the saints, they don't place any value to this world. But dunya according to unbelievers, this world is not enough. We have to make this world to a Jannah. 
And so, if our intention is to come close to Allah, Allah may even tighten, squeeze the dunya a little bit for us. He may. We're not asking for that, of course. But He may.